Welcome again. Um, make yourselves comfortable. I will ring my bowl to signal the beginning. So just find a comfortable place on your mat, perhaps in Shavasana, as we usually begin in that asana or that posture. And just settle in, letting go of what came before this moment and what will come after. Perhaps taking a nice big deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth as you say, ah. On the exhale, just allow yourself to completely release and relax and let go. So we'll begin by bringing our attention to our breath now. Just noticing the place where the inhale comes into the nasal passages. You might feel cool air and then follow the breath all the way in, just being an observer. And then noticing the exact point where the inhale changes to an exhale and then follow the breath all the way out. And you may consider imagining the breath as a wave on the inhale, washing up the front of the body and on the exhale, washing down the back body. It might be a vis visualization that you can bring to mind, that gentle rhythm of a wave. So washing over you on the inhale, washing down the back body on the exhale. And on each exhale, allow yourself to let go, to release and to relax. So our focus today is going to be on, it's all about the breath. So during our practice today, I will kind of point us in the direction of the breath as I usually do, but we'll, we can start our class maybe with the intention of focusing on our breath, if you'd like. So bringing a little more mindfulness to the breath because the breath can bring us calm in our body and in our mind and our breath is always with us. So having that awareness can benefit, uh, benefit us off our mat as well as on our mat. Our breath can help us move with ease during our practice. So Let's see what we can do today by focusing on the breath. So gently float your arms on an inhalation up over your head and just take a nice deep breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you notice the back body resting on the mat, and as you notice the breath, so noticing 
how the breath is flowing today. Is it flowing smoothly? Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it getting stuck any place? And so we're just bringing breath awareness. We're not judging, we're just noticing. So just noticing the state of the breath. So take another deep breath in and breathe out through your nose this time. So inhaling through the nose, inhaling or exhaling through the nose on the exhale. And just take a couple of rounds here and just notice the state of the breath. Now on your next inhale, stretch out through your fingertips and out through your toes. So bringing a little tension to the body. So stretching the toes away from the fingertips. Bringing length to the body. And on the exhale, release, allow the arms to be loose and relaxed, allow the legs to be loose and relaxed and heavy. Let's do that again. Inhale, stretch out through the fingertips all the way down the body and out through the toes, bringing length to our body. And then allow that exhale to wash down the back body and allow you to release and let go. Float the arms down by the sides as you bend your legs, placing the soles of your feet on your mat, walk the heels up towards your bottom. And we're going to come into a flowy bridge. So we'll use our breath. Imagine that wave on the inhale. So on the inhale, we'll lift our hips, lift our arms up, bring our arms all the way over our head with the knuckles resting on the earth. And on the exhale, Feel the wave wash down the back body as you bring your hips and your hands back to the floor. Inhaling, feel that wave washing over the front body, bringing the knuckles above you, resting on the earth, hips up. And on the exhale, feel the wave wash down the back body as you bring the hips and the hands back to the mat. We'll do that again. Inhale, feel the wash of the wave. And exhale, feel the wave wash down the back body. Allow yourself to relax, let go, release. Bring the soles of the feet together with the knees out wide. And let's continue with the arm movement. So we'll inhale, just the arms up overhead. The wave washes over the front body. Rest the knuckles on the earth above your head. Exhale, bring the arms back overhead, down to the hips, to the mat. Inhale, the arms up. Feel the wave washing over the front body. Exhale, the arms back overhead and down towards the mat. Feel the wave wash down the back body. Use the hands on the outside of each thigh and bring the knees together as if you're closing a book. Take the left ankle on the right thigh. We're going to Take the left hand and bring it through that space we have created. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders off the earth, and then bring the right foot off the earth towards you, the knee, the right knee towards you, and we'll come into this stretch here. So bring the belly button in, so engage the core, and just on your exhalations, draw your right knee 
towards you. Relax the shoulders, relax the facial muscles. And if your neck doesn't feel that great in this posture, you can rest your head back down onto the mat. We're just opening up the left hip, drawing that right knee towards us on the exhalation. So again, just using our breath to move with ease. So we inhale and on our exhale, draw the right thigh towards us. Keeping our facial muscles relaxed, keeping our neck and shoulders relaxed and just using the breath to draw that right thigh towards us. If you'd like, you can even unclasp your hands and take your left hand and kind of help that left knee to open. You can even place the right foot on the mat so that you can really release and relax and just push that left knee away from you. Take another deep inhalation through your nose and out through your nose. Relax the shoulders, uncross that ankle and take your right ankle on top of your left thigh. And then we'll take the right hand through the space we've created, lift the head and shoulders up, clasp behind the left thigh, and just use our breath again. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw the left knee closer. Keep the facial muscles and the neck and shoulders relaxed. And if your neck gets tired, just relax your head back down to the mat. Continue drawing that left knee towards you. Keep the breath flowing. You can take that left sole of the foot to the mat and take the right hand and press the right knee away from you. And then release, bring the sole of the right foot to the mat. Take the feet as wide as the mat. And we're just going to drop alternate knees to the midline. So we'll take an inhalation. And as we exhale, drop the left knee towards the midline. Inhale it up, drop the right knee to the midline. So just using your breath, that rhythm of the breath, Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So just moving with ease, moving in a gentle, rhythmic way. Just allowing the breath to lead you. And the next time the knees come up, bring them to stillness. Lift your bottom up a little and slide your hands under your sacrum. Bring your knees towards your chest and then send your feet up towards the sky, up towards the ceiling. Soles of your feet walk on the ceiling. And then we're going to drop the right foot down towards the earth, inhale it up and drop the left leg, left foot down towards the earth. So engaging the core, moving slowly as we use the breath, inhale the leg and foot up, alternating between left and right, exhaling the leg and foot down. pointing through your toes to 
to create length. Bringing a little heat to the core. Bending the knees, bringing the knees towards the chest, rocking from rocking the knees side to side. Then sending the soles of the feet up towards the sky again. And we're going to slowly allow the legs to come down to the earth. So engage the core and just slowly allow the legs to come down and just come down as, as far as is comfortable for you. Use that core. You can bend the knees towards the chest if the lower back has tension. And once you bring the feet all the way down to the earth, you can bend the legs, placing the soles of the feet on the earth, lift your hips and take your hands out and then inhale the arms up overhead, rest the knuckles on the earth, bring the feet as wide as the mat, so the left foot out to the left side, right foot out to the right side, and alternate, dropping knees to the midline using your breath again. Exhale when you drop the knee and inhale the knee up. And just continue alternating left and right knee to the midline. And then the next time your knees come up towards the sky, bring them to stillness as you float your arms back down by your side, walk your heels towards your bottom, and we'll just do two flowy bridges. So inhaling the hips, up towards the sky as you bring your arms up overhead. On the inhale, feel the wave wash up the front body. And on the exhale, bring the arms and the hips back down. Feel the wave wash down the back body. Inhale, feel the wave. Exhale, feel the wave down the back body. Bring the knees towards your chest. Place your hands on your kneecaps and begin to make some small circles with your knees. First go one way and then reverse direction with your small circles, massaging your lower back. And just turn to your side and push yourself up or rock yourself up to seated. Come to Sukhasana. Nice easy pose. And then drop your chin towards your chest and roll your head gently around, mindful of how your neck feels. And go in one direction, and as you're ready, reverse your directions. Toggling back and forth in any area that needs extra attention. And just make note of how your neck feels, how your shoulders are feeling. And do Anything with your head and neck that feels nice, like you might want to inhale and look out over your right shoulder. And perhaps exhale to center and look out over your left shoulder. 
using the breath to move with ease, perhaps looking up at the sky, look down at the earth, bring the head to neutral, tip the right ear towards the right shoulder, inhale up, tip the left ear towards the left shoulder, and then do any last minute movements with the head and neck. Mindfully. And as you're ready, you can bring the head to neutral. We'll send our arms out in front of us, clench the fists and begin to make some wrist circles. Go one way, and as you're ready, reverse your direction. Bring your hands to stillness, squeeze the fists, exhale and make stars. Squeeze the fists on an inhale, exhale, make stars. Do that one more time. Squeeze the fists on the inhale and then exhale, make stars. Bring the hands down and then we're going to backstroke the left hand, left arm, big hula hoop circles, mindfully doing so, noticing the shoulder joint, how it feels using the breath. So we inhale when we come up and we exhale when we come down. So think of that wave, inhaling that wave up the front body, exhaling down the back body. One more time, inhaling that wave, exhaling down and we'll come to the other side. So we'll inhale the arm up and back. One shoulder may feel different than the other. Inhaling the wave up the front body, exhaling down the back body. Inhaling, exhaling. One more time. Inhaling, exhaling. And then we're just going to swim forward, alternating, so we'll as if we're doing the crawl, swim forward, swim forward, swim forward. So keep the breath flowing, bringing a little bit of warmth to the shoulders. And as you're ready, come to stillness. We'll just bring the shoulders up towards the ears, kind of squeeze them towards the ears and then release. Squeeze them up towards the ears and release. One more time. Squeeze them up towards the ears and release. And then kind of shake out any feeling <laughs> that you have that you'd like to kind of ease out of the shoulder joints. We're going to come into a seated twist. So we'll inhale our arms up, really feel the length from the fingertips all the way down to the sit bones. Exhale, twist left as you bring your hands down, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, feel that wave come up the front of the body. Exhale to the right, feel the wave move down the back body. Inhale, visualize that wave, that soft water coming up. Exhale up over your head and down the back body. Inhale up to center, really stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, feel the wave wash down the back body. And then return to center. Placing your hands on your kneecaps, we'll just make some big circles with the crown of our head. So just moving mindfully. two or three in one direction. 
and then reverse your direction, keeping your breath flowing. So inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you come back. One more time, inhale and exhale and come to stillness. We'll come to our table now. So move gracefully to your table. So wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hip points, and we're going to come into a nice flowy cat cow here. So we'll drop the belly as we gaze forward, send our heart center forward. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Press into the hands as you sit back on the heels. Drop your elbows and then inhale. As you gaze up, exhale, round your back. Push the floor away. Sit back onto your heels. Feel the stretch from fingertips all the way down the back body. Drop the elbows. Trace the floor with the nose as you come forward on the inhale. Dropping your belly towards the earth. Press away from the mat, rounding your back, sitting on your heels, dropping your elbows, tracing the floor with your nose as you inhale forward, gazing up, exhaling, pressing the floor away, rounding the back, your chin towards your chest. Sit back on your heels, and when you sit back on your heels, just bring your forehead to the mat and rest in child's for a moment. And if your forehead doesn't want to meet the mat, you can stack your forearms and rest your forehead on your arms. And just take a few rounds of breath here. As you inhale, feel the belly Press into the thighs. Feel the wave, a tiny little wave, come up over the front body. And as you exhale, feel the wave ride down the back body. Inhale, feel that tiny wave rising up toward the crown of your head. And on the exhale, Feel it cascade down the back body. Do that one more time. Visualize the wave. And on each exhalation, allow yourself to release and to let go. We're going to make our way back up to our table. We're going to bring the left hand towards the center of the mat, pivot the left foot off the mat. As we turn, bring the right sole of the foot to the mat and inhale the right arm up towards the sky as we gaze up towards that thumb. We're going to come into a flowy gait. So inhale, bring the torso off the mat Bring the right hand down to the calf, ballerina arm. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Inhale, kind of bring the left hand back to the mat, right hand towards the ceiling. Inhale, the left hand off the mat, right hand goes to the calf, ballerina, the left arm. Feel the stretch. Inhale, bring that left hand back down to the mat, right hand towards the sky. Really stretch those right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Press into the sole of that right foot. If the neck doesn't permit, you can just look forward. And then we'll take that right hand, bring it back down to the earth. Turn and bring the right knee to the earth. 
we're going to rainbow our hands on the floor around to the other side. So we'll take our asana to the other side. So bring the right hand towards the center of the mat, pivot that right foot off the mat, send the left leg out long as you press the sole of the foot into the mat, inhale the left arm up towards the sky as you gaze up at that left thumb, and then inhale, bring the torso up, ballerina that top arm overhead, Exhale, bring the right hand back to the mat. Left fingertips towards the sky. Inhale, left hand down to the calf. Ballerina that right arm, feel the stretch. The right side body. Exhale, bring the right hand down to the mat. Left fingertips up towards the sky. Gaze up at that left thumb if your neck allows. Take that left hand, bring it back down to the mat as you bring the left knee to the mat. And we will rainbow walking our hands around so that we come back to the other side of the mat. Walking our hands towards our knees Press up so that we're on our toes and then come to standing. It's really pouring out here. I don't know what it's doing over at your house. <laughs> okay, we'll come into our Tadasana. So rock from side to side. We all know Tadasana. So press into all four corners of the feet. Lift up through the instep, through the kneecaps, through the thighs. Engaging your core, extending through your crowns. So you're standing up nice and tall, palms face forward, chin parallel. Close your eyes and take a couple of rounds of breath here, imagining or visualizing that wave on the inhalation from your toes. Inhaling all the way up the front body. Watch the wave. When it reaches the crown of your head, visualize the wave cascading gently down your back body. On your next inhalation, visualize the wave and allow the wave to help you extend and be taller. So, Inhale the wave up and exhale. Allow the back body to relax and soften. Do that one more time. Inhaling the wave, lengthening the front body. As you inhale the wave up and on the exhale, feel the wave cascade down the back body as you release and relax. Flutter your eyes open. We'll come into warrior two. So we'll bring that left foot so that the toes are pointing towards the short end of the mat. We'll take a wide stance. Inhale the arms parallel to the earth. Exhale, bend the front knee as you gaze out over that middle front finger. Extend the fingertips away from each other. So the front fingertips away from the back fingertips. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, feel the wave wash over the front body. And on the exhale, sink a little deeper. Feel the wave down the back body. Do that one more time. Inhale, feel the wave. Exhale, relax the shoulders, feel the wave cascade down the back body. Float the arms down, straighten the front leg, turn the feet parallel, turn the right foot so that it's facing the short end of the mat. Hips are square to the long end of the mat. 
Inhale the arms parallel to the earth. And on your next exhale, bend the front knee. Extend the fingertips away. Relax the shoulders. Gaze out over that middle front finger. Inhale the wave. Visualizing it, washing over the front body. And on the exhale, sink a little deeper into that front knee, if possible, as the wave cascades down the back body. Relax the shoulders. Inhale the wave. Exhale the wave. Float the arms down, straighten the front leg, bring the feet parallel, heel, toe, the feet together. Stand in Tadasana for a moment. Inhale, feel the wave wash over the front body, making you grow taller. And on the exhale, feel the body release and relax as you visualize that wave cascading down your back. Inhale the wave up the front body. Feel the length of the body, so extend through the fingertips, really stretch out, turn the palms away, cascade the body along with the wave, down towards the earth, bending the knees, holding on to the elbows, swaying the hips and elbows from side to side. Bring yourself to stillness. Shake your head yes, gently. Shake your head no. Bringing a little length to the spine. Placing your hands on the earth. Come down to your knees. Bring yourself down to the mat. On your back. Bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock from side to side. Bring your feet to the mat, walking your heels towards your bottom. We're going to come into two more flowy bridges before we complete our practice. So as you're ready, inhale your hips and your arms up towards the sky. Rest your knuckles on the earth. Feel that wave wash over you. And on your exhalation, Float your arms and your hips down to the earth and feel the wave washing down the back body as you release. Do that one more time. Inhale the wave up the front body and exhale the wave. Let it cascade down the back body. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. And as you're ready, you can bring yourself into a relaxed Shavasana. So I invite you to make yourself completely comfortable. If you would like to put your socks or a sweatshirt on, think about doing that. Just bring your attention back to your breath. We haven't really left the breath during this practice, so perhaps thanking the breath for bringing much needed oxygen to each and every cell in the body, 
and for bringing a sense of ease and calm to mind and spirit. So just allow the breath to find its own rhythm without needing to change the breath right now. So just allow the body to breathe in a gentle rhythm without you needing to do anything. And I'm just going to ring my bowl to signal the end of our class. And I invite you to stay in your Shavasana, but perhaps bringing your hands, your palms together in Anjali Mudra at your heart center. Then we'll take our thumbs to our third eye. May you think calm thoughts. Bring your thumbs to your lips. May you say calm and kind words and bring your thumbs to your heart center. And may you move through your day in a calm and relaxed fashion, remembering that your breath is always with you. Namaste.